What's up YouTube gamers, Young Soul dropping another video and I know, I know, I've been away for too long, um, a lot of family issues, nothing like important, nothing like medical or physical or, or you know, hospital wise, it's just been a lot of stuff taking me away, part of it's that, part of it's laziness, part of it's just gaming, so I apologize. Anyway, I wanted to bring up a particular subject, you saw the title so you know what I'm get going into, um, I find it interesting that a certain set of fanboys is basically, basically for the past week have been hyping up Crackdown 3 for how good it looks, and then they immediately turn around and talk about uh, Spider-Man being downgraded. Now this is par for the course for these particular fanboys, but I wanted to get a little bit into it on three separate subjects, three separate um, mini topics within this uh, within this video. Um, number one, as you see on the screen, this is basically what I'm going to be talking over the whole time. Insomniac has said the PS4 Pro has I'm um, PS4 Pro, Spider-Man PS4 has not been graphically downgraded. Now. I'm not here to tell you you should believe Insomniac. You can believe whatever you want to believe. What you do have to recognize, though, is you either believe the developer or you don't. If you do believe the developer, then it hasn't been downgraded. If you don't believe the developer, this goes out to that particular fanboy, group of fanboys. We all know our anti-Sony fanboys, um, but who also want a Sunset Overdrive, right? They want a sequel to Sunset Overdrive. Well, guess what, folks? If you get a sequel to Sunset Overdrive, which is not guaranteed, but if you do get it, you can't believe what you're seeing is real then. Because if you believe Spider-Man 4 has been downgraded, but Insomniac is saying it hasn't, then either Insomniac, either it hasn't been downgraded, or Insomniac is lying. Okay? And if, it's, and if Insomniac is lying, then anything you see from Sunset Overdrive to any type of sequel, if you see a sequel, will be suspect at, at very least, right? You can't say, oh, that looks great. Really? Because Insomniac lied before, apparently, right? So so that's number one. And again, I'm not here telling you you should believe Insomniac or not believe them. Just know that whatever you choose comes with, um, you know, implications down the road. So anyway, that's the first thing. So Insomniac has said that PS4, uh, Spider-Man PS4 has not been graphically downgraded. And I'm going to put a link to this in the description. That is a fact. Again, I'm not saying the fact is that it has, has or hasn't been downgraded. The fact that Insomniac has said that it hasn't is a fact. The fact that they said it is not a fact. It is a fact. Anyway, moving on. That's the first part. The second part, um, again, I want to touch on is the fact that the, the, the very people who had been hyping Crackdown 3 and how great it looked, did videos about how great the Crackdown 3 looked, is now talking about how Spider-Man PS4 has gotten a downgrade. Ladies and gentlemen, Spider-Man th Spider PS4 is going, at least attempting or, or reaching or trying to get to photorealism, right? Crackdown 3 is going for cell shaded ladies and gentlemen i'm not here to tell you whether cell shaded is good or not i love borderlands borderlands was one of the best cell shaded games of last generation slash going into this generation um so and i'm going to touch on that in the third in the third topic why i like the game but we'll get to that in a second but the fact is cell shaded is not as graphically intensive as going for photorealism it just isn't just like cartoon you know you get the cartoon type games like you know uh, most of the Mario games and most of the you know uh, um, um, those type of games Mario Kart and all that kind of stuff those games are not trying to go for photorealism so it's less graphically intensive that's just true now I'm not here to tell you that it doesn't look good for what it is it looks good for what it is crackdown 3 looks good for what it is but don't mistake it looking good for what it is as trying to pretend that it's something it's not. It's still cell shaded. It's still less graphically intensive. So again, I just find that, and that's where the hypocrisy, that's where the, the term hypocrisy in the title comes from. The people who are praising Crackdown 3 looks, then turn right around and, you know, like I said, completely, completely try to trash Spider-Man, even though it's 
obviously more graphically intensive than 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 Crackdown 3 by a you know by a mile, right? By a million miles. Okay. That leads me into the third subject, the third part of this thing in which people have been um complaining about how Crackdown looks. Okay? I I, I don't really complain about how it looks because cell shaded is fine to me. But what I do find interesting about um, Crackdown 3 and Super Lucky's Tale, both games coming out at the same time the console comes out, to me, and I'm going to hopefully I can get this phrase right the first time I try it, but to me, Crackdown 3 is the personification of the um, contradiction to the to the hardware the software is the personification to the contradiction of the hardware at least well let me not to the hardware itself but to the to xbox executives reason or their top reason for needing the hardware remember their top reason for needing the xbox one x is the visuals don't get me wrong there's other things that it helps out with smoother frame rates etc etc but their top reason was true 4k visual 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 that is their number one reason i'm not saying it's their only reason but it's their number one reason that is completely contradicted pretty much by you know crackdown 3 why do i say that because they again when cell shaded instead of photorealism and again just just i'm not here to tell you that it's not worth playing and i'm going to get that in a second but the fact is, cell shaded needs less, um, you know, textures. For instance, it just needs less textures. Whereas photorealism needs more texture. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going for photorealism. Just for the simple fact that you go for photorealism means you have to have texture packs. You have to try to make the textures as good as possible. Whereas cell shaded, you don't need to try to do as much of that. Why? Because it's cell shaded. It's not trying to look, you know, it's not trying to look real. So the whole thing with the visual. So now this gets me to Crackdown 3 itself. I think that it could be a very fun game. But here's the thing. The more and this goes for the Xbox execs all the way to the fanboys. The more that they hype up Crackdown 3 and, you know, by, by basically saying, don't worry about how it, how it looks as far as, you know, photorealism and textures and all that kind of stuff look more about how fun it is to play that is a direct contradiction to the main reason the main not the only but the main reason for owning an xbox or at least the main reason they give that xbox is like give us okay you, your individual reason why you buy an xbox one x may not have to do with their marketing but their marketing the number one thing is the better visual but wait crackdown 3 isn't even going for unbelievable visuals it's going for more gameplay and fun so again the more you hype gameplay and fun over photorealism which you have to do in order to try to really push crackdown the you know the more under it it the more it i'm trying to think of the phrase now the more it undercuts the need for the xbox one x because that's being promoted as you know it's number one thing for being promoted on visuals so i just find that to be and i think that's what people are talking about when they say stuff like um when they say stuff like uh uh, uh you know crackdown three isn't looking that great or whatever i don't think they're necessarily saying it in and it uh, in in of itself looks bad it's that it's being cross promoted with a console that's all about visuals or at least promoted as all about visuals so that to me is a bit of a contradiction right there as far as marketing is concerned i don't know let me know what you think in the comment section about spider-man about insomniac about the the contradiction and and, and high hypocrisy and whatnot at least that's where i come from um on these fanboys hyping crackdown 3 to turn around and trying to bash spider-man anyways let me know what you think in the comment section and i'll holla back